Hey, it's Rachel. Um, today I was, or today is day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Today was day nine of my pre-op diet. Um, today I was not a very good weight loss surgery pre-op patient. Uh, not because I like cheated or ate things that I shouldn't have, I just didn't eat enough. And um, the reason for that is I woke up this morning and I really didn't feel well. Um, I didn't go to work. I was like really groggy and weak and just tired. Um, so I got up at maybe like 11 or 12 and had um, a vanilla protein shake and I put some uh, decaf coffee grounds in that and I made it with milk because again I did get up later and so I could afford those extra 40 calories from the almond milk um, so that was 180 calories for my shake um, and I do not like milk in my shakes anymore um, I've gotten so used to doing them with water now and it being that thinner consistency that I just like that better now. Um, I drank that one this morning and maybe part of it was that I didn't feel well to begin with. But um, having it with milk, it just was nasty to me. Um, it was too thick and creamy and I just didn't, I didn't like it. Um, so, anyway, but that's what I ate for breakfast anyway. Um, so then I went back to sleep for a while and I got up at like five or so and um, I had a healthy choice meal that was 410 calories and so that brought me to a total of 590. Um, I had to go to Walmart and get some things for work for tomorrow and um, then when I came back I went back to sleep and then I just got up a little bit ago. Um, I might eat like a Greek yogurt or something, um, but I'm still not very hungry right now. Um, part of it is that I don't feel really well and um, I don't know if I feel like weak and tired and don't feel well because I haven't had enough calories lately, but I don't, I haven't felt really deprived um, especially because there were some days that I was really tiptoeing that line of going over the calories, you know. Um, so I don't think that that's what it is, but um, I could just be tired or be stressed out. I mean, my surgery is really close, and obviously I have some concerns. Um, and when I went to my surgeon's uh, pre-op appointment on Monday, he was like, oh, are you excited? Are you nervous? And I was like, um, both. Uh, I'm pretty nervous, though. So. And he said, well, good. He said, if you weren't nervous, then I would be worried that you didn't know. Or he said, I would be worried that you hadn't really thought about it. And I hadn't, I hadn't thought of it like that, that, you know, having concerns and being worried and being you know, being nervous about it is a good thing because it means that you really have thought about this and you understand what it means. You understand the risk, you understand how much your life is going to change and all the things that you're going to have to do to be responsible for yourself. And so, um, you know, if you are nervous and you are scared and whatever, I think that that's a good thing. I think it means that you're more aware of what you're getting yourself into than people who go in and they're like, oh, it'll be fine. Like, I don't think that they've maybe done some enough research or like really know um, the possible risks and how much things are going to have to change and what it's going to take. And it's awesome to go into it confident. I don't mean people who are like, I'm ready for this because I'm ready to, but I, I still have some nervousness and some scaredness. Um, and I, speaking of you know being responsible for yourself and taking care of yourself, the one of the things that I haven't really talked about um, is my like my reasoning for doing this. Obviously, it's to be healthier and to be happier, but that doesn't express um, what kind of pushed me back into this decision. If you watch my videos, you know that I applied for surgery um, about 
three years ago, um, right when I was turning 18, and uh, I was denied because I hadn't had um, the, BM, the BMI high enough with comorbidities for at least five years. It had only been two years. And so I had to wait three more years. And I, but I didn't just sit around and wait um, for, for three years to pass by so I could reapply. Um, when the things that happened that pushed me to reapply just happened to be at a time when um, it was almost time for me to be able to apply again. Um, and meet the criteria. So um, basically after I got denied um, when I was 18 I kind of yo-yo dieted for a long time and went up and down in weight and then um, last year I was in January I was 250 pounds and or at, at Christmas time you know New Year's I was 250 pounds and um, my brother proposed to his girlfriend. And so um, they were engaged and they were getting married in June um, of this last year. And so um, I think it was maybe like January I had started trying to lose weight anyway, just as like my New Year's resolution. You know, I joined Weight Watchers and started trying to lose weight. But then um, my future sister-in-law at the time, she's my sister-in-law now, um, her sister picked out the bridesmaids dresses and they came off this website online and the website only sold dresses up to a size 12. Uh, 12 was the biggest size that they had and I was not going to fit in a 12. Um, I think I was wearing like an 18 at the time. Um, so I started for whatever reason, I convinced myself that in six months I could get to a size 12, like I could do it. And so I started really, really dieting and I was on Weight Watchers and I went to the gym for three hours a day, like three or four times a week. And I really, really like tried to get it together. And um, I lost, over that six months, I lost a, right at about 50 pounds and I got right down to about 200 pounds. And I never got into Wonderland, but I did get to about 200 pounds. Um, and the dress was still not even close to fitting. And so my mom had to order a second dress so that my grandmother could take pieces from it and sew them together so that it would fit me. And um, that was really embarrassing for me. And I, I know that other people didn't know but I knew and I was so worried that when you would look at the dresses you could tell that mine had like extra pleats in the sides and um, I you know was the fat girl in all the wedding pictures and there were all these little bitty tiny girls in this dress that I couldn't fit into until I sewed two of them together and um, that was a really a turning point for me that I couldn't continue to live like this and that sounds really shallow and superficial to say you know I didn't fit into a bridesmaid's dress so I wanted weight loss surgery um, that's not the reasoning but that is like the final thing that kind of pushed me over the edge um, into looking back into this again and uh, it happened to be that there was um, about I'm sorry really know what's happening with my computer right now. That was weird. Sorry. Pop-up. Um, so, um, it happened to be that there were about five months before I would be able to reapply again, and my insurance requires that you do the six-month supervised diet anyway, so I just went ahead and um, started the diet when school started back. And, um, and reapplied and got approved and so that's kind of where I'm at now but um, the thing about you know being responsible for yourself and taking care of yourself I one of the reasons that I do want weight loss surgery is because I want to get married one day and I want to have kids one day and, and I don't think that anyone will ever marry me um, when I look like this and that sounds really terrible but what I mean is that 
not and not because I don't want to be with somebody who likes me because I'm thinner or you know is shallow like that. What I mean is, from an emotional standpoint, when you see someone that is, you know, a hundred plus pounds overweight, you don't ever look at that person and think that's somebody that really cares about themselves. That's somebody that takes care of themselves. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, and I wouldn't want to be with somebody that I didn't feel like took care of themselves and cared about themselves. And so why would I expect someone else to want to be with me when I so obviously was not taking care of myself and didn't care about myself? Um, I really, tr I tried, but it wasn't, it wasn't happening. And, um, when you just dieting isn't exhausting all of your options if you diet and you exercise and you do all these things and you're still not losing weight or maintaining weight loss your other option is weight loss surgery and so I am I am taking control of my life and being responsible for me and taking care of me by doing this and so um you know, any person that I ever do date will know about it and will have to be respectful of that because it's something that I did for me to take care of me. And I have had concerns about what people what people will think and what people will say and and you know, um, but like I said before, if they're not supportive or if they don't understand then they're not really my friend and they don't really care about me and they don't really want me to have the best possible life that I could have. Um, they must have some other agenda or some reason why they would be so judgmental or so upset about me doing this and I don't know what that is but um, they don't have my best interest at heart but I do I have my best interest at heart and so that's why I'm doing this um, to be the best to be the best me that I could be and I'm being responsible for myself and taking care of myself um, so anyways, that's basically my why, I guess, and thanks for watching. Check in tomorrow.